Hey guys, Dylan here with Southland Goldens. Today I have Casper with me and we're going to be doing some training and uh, I'll come back around here. All right, so what I just told him is that I have food for you. If you hop up here, I'll give you a piece of food. Casper, come. All right, now when Casper does something uh, or gives us a behavior, huh? A click when he completes the behavior, okay? So Casper, come. Good. Casper, come. Good. There we go. Casper, come. Good boy. Find it right there. Casper, come. Casper, come. All right, Casper. Casper, find it. Casper, come. Now when we have Casper here, I didn't ask him to. Um, my hand asked him to sit, and so when he sat, I clicked. So here's come. We'll pull the hand up. He follows it into a sit. Then he gets rewarded. Casper, come. Good. Casper, come. All right. Casper, come. Now we'll get Casper to come. Sit. There we go. Casper, come. There we go. Find it. Casper, come. Casper, come. And sit. There we go. Find it. Casper, come. There we go. Casper, sit. There we go. Hey, sometimes I'll show him something farther away so I can get him to come across the board. Casper, come. Good boy. Casper is. Um, He's got quite the spirit on him. He will he will talk to you sometimes and be a little vocal. I'll let you know exactly what he wants. Um, he's ambitious. He has a lot of confidence. And so I'm sure we will advance very far in training because of it. Come. But with that being said, he's not timid. And so, come. He's already figured out where the food's coming from, so he was just gonna skip every step except the one where he gets to eat. I could admire that. Casper, come. There we go, good boy. All right, Casper, find it. Good. So here again, that's a dinner bell. When he, when he comes to me, when he hears that dinner bell, He'll get paid. The reason we do that is so that I can start to teach him come. Because at first, he didn't know anything. And so he's been hearing this dinner bell for a couple of days now. So you saw he tried to use the pause there. So I clicked for the behavior of, um, of sitting. But when he, but when he uh, tried to choose, choose the pause, Got one on your head. There we go, you sat down in there. Casper, come. Good. Casper, come. Good. So you see that time I didn't, um, I didn't have any food in my hand. Maybe you didn't see that, but Casper, come. And so we start doing this because if we don't have food in the hand and he doesn't see food, Casper, come. He has to still understand that he should come to that hand regardless if it has food in it or not. And then the behavior will be rewarded in due time. Casper, come. Or sometimes I might have food in the hand, um, 
but I will get two or three behaviors from him. So I'll kind of talk about that. He's only going to get two pieces of kibble, um, but what's going to happen is I'll ask him to come. He doesn't get any food there. When I get him to sit, he got food. He's starting to use that paw, but I'll make sure that he knows that he doesn't get paid for that paw. Um, and I'll usually just do that by getting him to sit, clicking immediately for the sit. And then if you were to paw here, I'll go ahead and take my hand with the food away. So just because he's using the paw, I wouldn't, wouldn't be alarmed. I've had puppies do this to me in the past, just for attention purposes or whatever the case is. They'll try to paw to get the hand open or to to see if um, that behavior works to get a reward. Casper, come. So that time, Casper, come. That time I clicked or I marked the behavior of come, but he didn't get paid for it. I made him do an additional come and call. Casper, come. Casper, come. Good. So I kind of got two come and calls and he got one reward, but it just makes things more challenging for him. And all it'll do is develop his patience, but also his drive to work. Come. Good. So, so far, we've been working on a dinner bell. We've also been working um, on the come when called. Come. And we've been working on sit. And I think we should be able to get Casper to go ahead and... fall off so what I'm gonna do is just be patient here and see if we can't get him to display uh, sit and then down good yeah get him to go ahead and lay down for us good so you guys are seeing this for the first time he did lay down for me a little bit earlier today but I wasn't teaching him that um, so here we'll get him to sit. Good. And then now we have him in the sit. We'll go straight down. Good. And hopefully you guys can see the lure just changes position just a little bit from, from being right over his head. So when I give him call him to come, it's here. When I get him to sit, it's there. And then we pull it down to the floor. Good boy, Casper. You are so smart, buddy. You're such a smart little boy. Casper, come. What a good boy. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, but Casper's progressing really well. Casper, come. He's learning his name. He's learning to come and call. And as you can see, he now knows how to sit down and lay down. We'll be putting a lot of repetitions to this so it gets... Uh, ingrained in his muscles and his memory. Down. What a good dog. What a good boy. Come. Good. All right. Well, until next time, hopefully uh, you guys are having a great day, and we will see you real soon. Good boy.